Guys are getting big for this box. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today has just been, this whole weekend has just been kind of blah. Um, we've been really busy, so we've been trying to clean, and it's just, it's not working very well. Um, we've gotten some stuff done, but not a whole lot. And, I don't know. It is nice out, so we were outside with the kids for a little bit, and letting them run around. Um, I am working on cleaning up the animal stuff today. Um, all of the cat box and the bunny cage and the chickens all need to be clean. So that's the basis of what I'm doing today and laundry. So I'm doing a lot of laundry today. But I'm finally able to. Ooh! <laughs> they all just decided to flap <laughs> their wings and try to fly. And I don't have the lid on. But yeah, I'm finally going through their clothes and. The past couple of days it dropped, the temperatures dropped down into the 40s, but the week before that it was up in the 80s. Today it's 60 and it's supposed to start getting warmer again. So hopefully we'll have some better weather. So I've started switching out some of their clothes and uh, putting the winter stuff away. So um, it's kind of been, I get all the laundry washed so that I can get all the winter stuff packed up and don't have any leftovers hanging around. So, I think I can get these girls, hopefully girls, out of here so that I can get their area cleaned out and see what happens. I don't know, maybe they'll play in the bunny cage. We got Poppy outside today because it's so nice. So I moved all my plants outside so that they can get some nice fresh sunlight and some fresh air. So, let's see if I can get them out and clean them. This is the stage where they start looking really funny. And one of the other YouTubers that I watch, that everyday Kira, she's got chickens. And they called them dinosaur chickens because they look funny. They're going to start getting tall, but their feathers aren't poofy. So their feathers kind of like, they don't fill in very well. So they look really funny. They look like little raptors. Oh, Boston. Hey, everybody. Thank you, cute girl. Or boy. Or boy, please be girls. Uh, I think if any of them are going to be a boy, it's going to be awesome. Oh, good job. Land on red. Look at you. you. The dogs are so mad that the chickens are out right now and they cannot find them. And the dogs are in their kennel. So I can do this. Well, partially so I can do this. Sure, they weren't behaving. Look at you. <laughs> I think it's their tail feathers is what they try to determine the gender, but I don't know. Look at you guys. Mm. Now you want to come up, huh? Well, yeah, you got food. Oh, you're not My hand's too big. Okay, I got the chickens all cleaned out. And they're back in their box. I cleaned out the cat box or scooped it out. But, once so. I've got, this is what I have for their feeders. And for a while they were resting right on top of the wood shavings. And they always kept getting the shavings into the water and into the food. And we were, we had to keep cleaning it like every day. And it was really a, kind of a pain in the butt. Because we couldn't get to the water, especially if we were gone. The, the wood chips would soak up the water. Or they would fill up the, the food container with the spots with wood shavings. So they couldn't get to anything. So I saw on Pinterest somebody had raised up the feeders onto something, like a block. So I altered ours and put them on top of some bowls 
that we don't use. Um, in hopes, and they've already kicked some shavings into it, but hopefully this will help keep most of the wood shavings or a lot of the wood shavings out of the water and out of the little spots for the food so that they can get to it better. Um, I might add some little wood shavings to that though. Yeah. So we'll see how that works out. Um, oh. oh my goodness. Uh, again, how do you get up off the floor? Okay. So, and while I was up and moving around, I cleaned out the uh, cat box. So. I could do the bunny cage. I'm gonna do that in a little bit, but I have dishes to do. But I'm really, really trying to get as much cleaned as I can, just because I know our week's gonna get busy again. You know, it's we got a lot going on. You know, Tuesdays Abby has piano lessons, and then she's got a soccer practice. And Thursday her games, she has her soccer games. So it leaves us a couple of days. But over the next couple of weeks, I have appointments right after work, too, um, on Wednesdays. So by the time we get home and everything, it puts it even closer to supper time. We're eating supper really late. And it just kind of makes the nights get crazy. It just, the cleaning kind of gets put aside. So it really only leaves us with a little bit of time on Mondays and Fridays to clean up. And then we're rushing to get done on the weekends. So it kind of sucks, but... It happens. Huh? But on the plus we only have about four more weeks left of school and then I don't have to work and then I can worry about not getting paid for two months. So, uh, five weeks. Five weeks left of school. So, but I'm still trying to figure out what to do over the summer when I'm not working. But let me get the dishes in so I can get the bunny cage. I'm going to eat some chips. I made some salsa con queso. Um, oh. I'm gonna eat a little bit of tostitos while I do dishes. And I'll get back to the body cage. I need a snack break. <sighs> okay, so I got the bunny cage all cleaned out. And I mean, she's outside, so it's not really gonna matter much, but it's pretty empty, but it's nice and clean now, so that's cool. Um, yeah, she's we get her outside because it's so nice out. But one of the last things I was going to do kind of today, um, I've got some herbs that I bought, um, some sage and rosemary, and I've got this tray that I used to start my tomatoes, peppers, zucchini, and broccoli a while back, and I've since transplanted, and that's what's growing outside now. Um, I filled the whole tray in, but I only used half the tray, so I still have half a tray that has the soil in it. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna fill up one row of the sage and one row of the rosemary. And my peppers didn't sprout, so I'm gonna do a row of peppers over here. Not, yeah. And I'm gonna see if I can get the peppers to sprout again um, this time around. So I just wanna get those done so that thing can get started. Um, I don't know if I'll do that many, but we'll see. And conveniently enough, I'm not doing this at my sink, so I have. Just not the soil away because it is super super dry because it's been sitting on the shelf since before I did this. So I got the peppers open already, so I'm gonna start with those. And I need to go about a quarter of an inch deep, so. Um, 
I just put two in each. Um, I don't know how much we'll really actually need to use, but we got that. Just cover back up. Soil is not cooperating very well. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and do the herbs. Sage first. So with the herbs, um, when they do get big enough to transplant, the herbs, um, I don't know, like when I transplant them, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them outside. Um, I'm not sure if that's something I want to put outside or if I would try just growing in the windowsill so I can, you know, get them when I need them to. But I have inside it, man. My says it's just I'd like to put them outside. Maybe I can build something. I just want them down low on the ground. Um, but my problem with putting them inside is my cat likes to get into things like that. So, oh, nice little round ones. Hi, it's a lock. Is it a lock? Okay. So those guys are in. Let's cover them back up. in there. I see you not hiding. Okay. And for the rosemary. And these are just common. They're called common rosemary and common sage, so nothing fancy. Oh. Oh my goodness, these guys are tiny. Okay, these guys are super, super tiny. Oh my goodness, they are so tiny. I didn't need that many in my hand. Yeah. So it's pretty little. I'm afraid I'm going to drop them all over the place. Now that's when you guys want to burn it here. Okay, so. I'm gonna get them all in. Just put them back up. And then when I spray them again with water, um, they didn't get very wet the first time, so. Okay. So that's it for those. Right. Now I just gotta remember what I planted in my spots. I think I've got Abby getting into my popsicle stick there. So we'll do sage. This one, and then rosemary was the outer one. And then peppers. Let's see if I had better luck with these peppers around this time. If they want to stay covered up. Back under there. Alrighty, so those are done. I'm gonna put them back on my shelf. And on the plus side too, I have a heat lamp, so hopefully that will help kind of get them going, get them started. So they'll have to be right in front of the window where the other plants are, trying to get the sun up. I think that's it. So, I want to do more. I may go out. The wind's calm. Um, I've got a couple of piles of leaves to do that are out there from a couple of weekends ago. So. I may go out there and throw them in a pile. We have a little burn spot where we took down a tree. So I picked up the 
bricks around it, put the ring back together, might throw them in there and burn a couple, some of the leaves, get that going so we can get that cleaned up. But I think that'll be it for the day. That's about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.